Naimbag nga hal daw tayo amin manan kagayam kan kakapsat. Uh, Ituloy tayo manan iti uh, adal tayo. Manipul mat lang iti uh, the doctrine of uh, the last things or uh, eschatology. So uh, let's proceed to lesson uh, number three. Uh, the 70 week prophecy. So uh, manipul iti day to eh. Uh, a lesson tayo, kung adal tayo manipul iti uh, pitupulong uh, lawas kunana. Tapapan iti uh, padto in relation iti uh, mapasamak iti uh, masakbayan. So, uh, during the fifth uh, dispensation in the fall of the southern kingdom of Judah, God reveals the plan for the remainder of human history. And during the Babylonian exile, the angel Gabriel appeared to Daniel and reveals to him the unfolding plan of God for humanity. So, amu tayo unay gagayap kan kagap sa tayo na ti pasamak kan pakaistoryaan, may papan iti anak iti una tayong Israel, particularly iti Southern Kingdom, and that is Judah. Nga demteng iti panawen unu champo may pai kada kada nga dagitoy kat na i panda ijay Babylonia. Kati di adada yu Babylonia. Dito yung nga ni Daniel kat nagkarara giti apo kat ni ti Angel na ni Gabriel nagparang kenkwan na kat uh, impakita na may papan kadag iti plano kan uh, paspasamak na isoda uh, matungpal. So, nakita nito may papan ti uh, historical background. Tako na tayong uh, umuna, may papan iti uh, linteg sa mutin dag iti uh, salsalungasin kan tayo na tayo yung ti dangadang, ti panakay panaw da iti bukod dangadaga. Then tayo na tayo yung padto, may papan iti plano iti Diyos. Kan kastamo ito, tayo na tayo yung panaka execute. Kag ito yung padto, iti biyag da iti Israelita. So, nukitaan tayo may papan iti the law of God. Nga isong in pagunam-gunam na kadagiti anak ti Israel is that kung natin yung God gave Israel a commandment to provide a Sabbath rest to the Lord or to the land. So, in Leviticus chapter 25 verse 4, kung natin na, But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the land, a Sabbath for the Lord, Thou shalt not neither sow thy field nor prune thy vineyard. Ngam, dahil ito yung impagunam-gunam iti apo, alintag kadakwada. The Israelites, or the people of Israel, failed to obey these commandments. And for 490 years, the fields were continuously sown. So, Tayo kuna tayo nga idi nga ti Apo ket inikan na idi ti maysa nga lintek nga kuna na ket mabalin yung talunen dagiti isu amin kuna na iti intent ti Apo nga pag pamataw dan da ti taraunda ngem iti may kapito nga tawen saan yung mulaan ngem nabengek da So at dapat iti, ano kita nito yung may papan iti uh, pakasaritaan te, kuna tayo. In Jeremiah chapter 37, verse 6 to 10. Then came the word of the Lord unto the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, that shall ye say to the king of Judah, that sent you unto me to inquire of me, Behold, Peru's army which is come forth to help you shall return to Egypt into their own land. And the Chaldeans shall come again and fight against this city, and take it and burn it with fire. 
The set the Lord deceive not yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. For though ye had smitten the whole army of the Chaldeans that fight against you, and there remain but wounded men among them, yet should they rise up every man in his tent and burn the city with fire. So, uh, that was, te ko nata yung uh, napasamak, may sa kadag iti pasamak kuno pagteng, kadag iti anak iti Israel. Then, uh, the Israelites were being exiled to Babylon. Therefore, when the southern kingdom was taken into captivity by the Babylonians, God used their exile as a way of giving rest to the land. So, dahil yung bilin iti apo nga min kadakwada na Masapul nga sandang nga talunan ti may kapito nga tawen. Ngayon, uh, na-enjoy da. Nga gapo ka dagit ti uh, ta yung parang bendisyon mo lang ti apo kadakwada kat sanda na puputan nga in uh, that span of beers kat tuloy-tuloy nga uh, sandang anikan iti inana ti daga. Kat ga po iti da ita, ti apo nang ipamuspusan, unang rami di ti wagas, nga tapo nang dagito kat na ipanda, iya babilo niya kat ga po iti da ita, na painanaan ti daga ga po ta, na ala da, I mean, they were being captive, and te ko nata yung, and they were taken in Babilo niya, or in Babylon. So in Babylon, Daniel 6, God, to understand, the length of time of their captivity. Kat, hindi nga dada sa jay, ito ko na po nga, ni Daniel, ito ko na tayo yung, adi po ni ti Apo nga, asidag una iti Diyos, kat, saan na nga binaybayan, iti, aramid na, nga, na Diyos, ito ko na tayo yung, ito na kay Ruaman na, hindi nga dapat lang, iti ay, Israel, kat iso pa lang uri ding adan iti lugar dag iti, kate ko nata yung in the Babylon in the country of Babylon still, nga ni Daniel kat nagtultuloy nga nagkarkararag iti apo, ngatap nun ikasta kat sinapul na iti Diyos ngatap nun dinawat na iti kate ko nata yung kate ko nata yung Tulong iti Diyos, pakaseknan iti kasasaad na naman nung atawin, ngay sudak at uh, agtaeng as captives iti Babylon. An angel Gabriel appears to Daniel and gives him a message of 70 weeks. So di jayin nga ganyan kayo kapsat nga ni uh, ti Angel, nga ni Gabriel kat nagparang, kat uh, dito yun nga imay tayo kunata yung uh, a vision nga imbaga na may papan iti pitupulong uh, lawas nga isong uh, panag uh, taeng da sa jay. So, using the Babylonians, God begins removing Israel from the promised land starting in uh, 606 B.C. And now in Babylon, Daniel prays to God for the sins of Israel. So, while praying, The angel Gabriel appears in touch Daniel, according to chapter 9, verse 21 in the book of Daniel. And Gabriel informs Daniel that 70 years are determined upon the people of Israel, verse 24. So, from Daniel chapter 20 to chapter 9, from verse 20 to 23, while I was speaking and was praying and confessing my sin, The man Gabriel, whom I had seen before in a vision, came to me in a swift light at the time of the evening sacrifice. In verse 22, O Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill in understanding. So that was happened. In verse 23, At the beginning of your supplications, I am come to show you and to consider the vision. In Daniel chapter 9, verse 24, Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression, 
in to make an end of sins, in to make reconciliation for iniquity, in to bring in everlasting righteousness, in to seal up the vision and prophecy, in to anoint the most holy. So from that 70 weeks times 7, equivalent to 490 years. Because we all know that one day is equivalent to, uh, or uh, that is uh, one week or seven weeks equivalent to seven years. So uh, from the time that the word went out to restore and rebuild the Jerusalem until uh, Jerusalem is finished, uh, there shall be seven weeks, and that is seven times seven equals 49 years. That is already what we are called seven weeks. So from 445 BC to 396 BC. So for 62 weeks, Jerusalem shall be built again, streets and walls, but in troubled time. After 62 weeks, Messiah shall be cut off and shall have nothing. So uh, from that seven weeks, ikunatay uh, itay, at dapat iti na bating uh, uh, 63 weeks, di ba? Nga, nung kita nito yung may papante, kung nata yung, uh, 62 weeks, nga, iso na ito equivalent to 434 years. That is from 396 BC until AD 33. And that is, kung nata yung uh, 69 weeks, equivalent to 483 years. That is the span of 69 weeks. So from the 33 AD, at uh, that time when Jesus was crucified, until now, that uh, uh, gap and that is what we are called the church age. So manipud ij 33 AD idingan ni Apo Jesus ket uh, nay pangato kalpasan ti panagungar na nga manipud kadagiti nga tempo so met data ti pangrugian iti kunata yung uh, tempo iti uh, iglesia So from the 33 AD ingana iti uh, panakapasamak iti rapture and that is equivalent to 69 weeks. So, at da pa iti one week nga nabatbati. Tap nun makumpleto, da jay kunata yung uh, 70 weeks uh, prophecy of Daniel in the book of Daniel chapter 9. So, nung kita kain tayo, uh, that remaining week, one week more, da kunata yung kat... Uh, Iso da ito iti uh, padpadaanan tayo, kalpasan ti panakay pangato ti iglesia, nga pan nakaramid da ito yung uh, yung this will be the tribulation begins when the Antichrist confirm a covenant with Israel for one week. Iso da po nang uh, uh, adati makun ko ng uh, seven years tribulation. No, kitawin tayo, habsa tayo, tap nun maawatan yung uh, nasayaan. May papante ko natin yung Daniel 70 weeks from Daniel chapter 9 verse 24 to 27. Daniel 69 weeks, te kunata yung manipulit uh, the span of uh, that time, iti uh, te kunakita yung 445 BC. Nga manipulit yung narami te kunata yung rebuilding of Jerusalem nga tapno ikasta that during that uh, span of time, 7 weeks, and it is equivalent to 49 years until the uh, the time leading up to Jesus the Messiah. So from that time, in Ghana nga iti panakay pasngay ni Apo Jesus, kan iti panakay cross na, iti cross iti bantay kalbaryo. Nga, no kitawin tayo during the 30 AD, that was the beginning of Jesus' ministry, di ba? So from 30 AD, and uh, he ministered for three years. So, uh, he was crucified. So, from that 
time of crucifixion until the kunatayo nga the time of uh, the rapture that is the present church age or that is the prophetic gap nga naunday nga panawen daytoy nga isuti uh, tempo ti iglesia nga isumbod ti pananguyor uray tayo may papan iti panangay pangato iti iglesia or the rapture of the church that was stated in the book of First uh, Thessalonians. So that's already the kuna tayo that 69 weeks already uh, na pasama kuno na arami day ta ingana ije pan na kay cross ni Apo Jesus. So the prophetic gap iso dayto manipud mo ije pan na kay cross na kun ije pan na kay pangato na ingana kadagiti nga champo ingana nga maarami te kuna tayo nga pan na kay pangato te iglesia katintun may pangato te iglesia that will be the time that the completion of 70 week, weeks of uh, Tekunata yung prophecy. Nga day tanto, Tekunata yung Daniel 70 uh, week. Tekunata yung may kapitupulo nga uh, lawas. So, that is equivalent to seven years or the tribulation. Kung no, kita yun tayo, may papantay kunata yung uh, from that seven week. From the time that the word went out to restore and rebuild Jerusalem in 445 BC until Jerusalem is finished, there shall be a seven weeks or 49 years. So uh, that 62 weeks, as I said earlier, for 62 weeks it shall be built again. But in a troubled time after the 62 weeks, an anointed one or the Messiah shall be cut off in that was started the AD and shall have nothing in the troops of the prince, and that is the Romans, who is to come shall destroy the city in the sanctuary. In the AD 70, nga amutayo unay, according to history, nga, that was the time nga, uh, ni Titus, te kunatayo dinadail na iti Jerusalem, pakiramanan ti templo. Its end shall come with a flood, and into the end there shall be war, desolations are decreed. And that is equivalent to 434 years. So, no, kita yun tayo may papan the prophetic vision plan. Uh, the one week, he, Antichrist, shall make a strong covenant with many for one week. In for half of the week, teko na tayo, he shall make a sacrifice and offerings shall cease and in their place shall be an abomination that desolates until the decree and is poured out upon the desolation, and that is seven years of the uh, tribulation. This is the tribulation period, and midway through the Antichrist will broke the covenant with an abomination of desolation or an idol sacrifice or idol worship. Gaputan kita yun tayo, kakapsat, may papan iti propeseya, that the span of seven years tribulation, the first three and a half years, nga dito yung ni satana, sana pa lang nga ipakita, itipod nung, uh, tayo kung nata yung uh, uh, gagem na, kapot uh, dito yung uh, padasan na pa lang alilawen, dag iti tatao, inggana nga iti malpas iti three and a half years, then, dito yung mapasamak, may papante kung nata yung uh, uh, panakayawat, May papan iti bileg, iti animal kunana nga kasaritan na in the book of Revelation. Nga tap nun iti kastakot maramid, may papan iti uh, talo a bileg kasmut lang iti Trinidad. Uh, Adios, nga tap nun matulad da ito'y uh, pasamak, kat may yawat ken kwa na iti bileg kun pan nakabalin. Nga tap nun, he will be, iti kunata yung uh, mangituray, kat uh, maramid to urad to'y may papan iti panakatungpal iti uh, one world government. So, uh, no, uh, manipod iti da ito'y uh, pasama. Kamu tayo unay nga uh, maaramid kas naisurat, kas nakita ni uh, Daniel iti pitupulong uh, lawas akas tayo yung vision of his tayo yung prophecy. So, uh, no, kita nito may papan the sixfold purpose of the 70 weeks. Kita nito yung manuan niya iti uh, plank Plano wano panggap da ito yung uh, uh, kaskun kunana iti uh, 70 weeks of uh, Daniel.
First, teko na tayo, to finish the transgression. These six events are for the Jews and the holy city, Jerusalem. Gentiles and the church are not included in this judgment. So, nalawag nga, dahil ito katay pamamaraan, it is the way teko na tayo, itiapo to finish the transgression. In Daniel chapter 9, verse 26, the Messiah or Christ was cut off or crucified. Shall Messiah be cut off but not for himself? So, nukitain tayo in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12, to make an end of sin. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. So, dahito ti bagbaga na may papan iti Daniel chapter 9 verse 26 that shall Messiah be cut off. Kat no kitain tayo, may papan iti teko na tayo, ti panggap as to finish the transgression. In Romans chapter 5 verse 6 to 10, to make reconciliation for iniquity. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. So meaning, uh, this was uh, yung, uh, prophetic vision of Daniel to bring to an end or to remove Israel's disobedience and transgression. So no, kita uh, the Jewish transgressions, one of the... Uh, uh, aniaman nga tayo kunan tayo sa lungas, yung basol, will not be finished until they as a nation repents and return to God. So, da ito'y iti uh, kinapod no. May papan kadag ito'y kunan tayo yung uh, uh, the son of promise or uh, tayo kunan tayo the chosen people Israel. It is not tayo kunan tayo that they will repent like us one by one, individually, but as it is stated, that the Jewish transgressions will not be finished until they, meaning as one nation, will repent and return to God. That is how yung the process. No may papan kadagiti anak iti Israel. So the vision also of seventy weeks. Uh, the purpose was number two, to make an end of sin, to seal up lock up or bring Israel sin to full restraint. Uh, to restrain sins at Christ's second coming. In Romans chapter 11, verse 26 and 27, it says, And so all Israel shall be safe. Wow. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant until them, unto them when I shall take away their sins. So, tayo kunak nga, no may papan iti day ito eh, tayo kunak tayo yung to make an end of sin. It is only, tayo kunak tayo for the Jew. Para kadakwada. And another thing is to make reconciliation for iniquity. To fully cover Israel's iniquity in sin so that none can be found. In Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 20, we need to understand also. The iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none. In one day the Jews will repent and be converted. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 8. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day. Jews who accepted Christ during the church age will be in the body of Christ where there is neither Jew nor Gentile, according to Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 to 28. There is neither Jew nor Greeks. So, teko na tayong isot ka po ng ano ang pangimbagati apong there is no, there is neither Jew nor Greeks. In the sense that if those teko na tayo, people like us, Gentiles, will accept the Lord Jesus Christ and at the same time, the Jew who teko na tayo yung believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because we all know the fact that many Jews when Jesus came and presented himself as the Messiah or the Savior, the King of all kings, 
the Jews did not believe in him. But there are few uh, Jews that believe and accept the Lord Jesus Christ. And those Jews, nagita nga yung isong imawat kan kwa na, kit may bilang da, tayo kuna tayo nga, parte iti church or the body of Christ. Isot ka po nang kuna na, there is neither Jew nor Greek. So, another thing is, tayo kuna tayo, number four is, uh, to bring in everlasting righteousness. This will be accomplished by an inward moral transformation when the law of God will be written upon their hearts. In Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 33, I will put my law in their inward, part, inward parts and write it in their hearts. So, teko na tayo nga da ito iti, may isa nga dag iti, saan tayo nga mabalosing-sing? May papanti kari iti apo kadag iti anak iti Israel. At the beginning of the millennial, Christ will sit or seal up the sins of Israel and establish a new covenant with them. In Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 34, For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sins no more. So, we all know, take on tayo the fact that the kasarasarita ti apo in Jeremiah is the people of Israel. Isuda da ito, ito kuna tayo yung kangrunaan nga sawsawon iti apo no may papan ka dag iti biyagda. That for I will forgive their iniquity and will remember their sin no more. So that is the one of the purpose tayo kuna tayo of the 70 week prophecy of Daniel to bring in everlasting righteousness for them. And number five, tiko na tayo yung to seal up the vision and prophecy. To bring to a conclusion by their fulfillment, for their fulfillment, all the prophecies of this book. Prophets and visions are concealed from the Jews until the time of the Gentile is complete. Romans 11, 25. That blindness is part in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. So, take on natin yung tap nun masilyuan to seal up the vision and the prophecy. And lastly, to anoint the most holy. The most holy is a place in that Christ. So, most holy ko natin yung. To consecrate again the holy of holiest after the abomination, desolation, by the Antichrist in the last days. Nga no, kitain tayo, ayan. Nga no, may papan, iti dahito ito, consecrate again, consecrate again the holy of holiest. Because, amun tayo yung, in the time that the Antichrist, kat agturay, nga tap nun, uray iti iglesia, kat teko na tayo yung, ma, dadail iti imahen. Gaputa, instead nga, they will worship, the name of the living God. Ilungalo na ito may papantay ko natin yung idol worship. Kat dito yung adun to dagiti sumurot kan kwa na just because he's already in power. The most holy that left the temple will return to the millennial temple. In Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 23, Then the glory of the Lord departed from off the threshold of the house and he stood over the cherubims. So, take on natin yung, this is tap nun itikasta to anoint or to restore the most holy or the holy of holy, yes. So, these are the six, take on natin yung main purpose of this 70 weeks of prophecy. To finish the transgression, to make an end of sin, and to make enemy f f atonement for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy place, according to Daniel chapter 9, verse 24. So, manipo dito, ite ko natin yung... May papan iti uh, pitupulong nga lawas, iti uh, 
propeseya nga na third ka ni Daniel, hindi nagkararag iso na liadda iso na nga, hindi adda iso na ni Babylon niya. Kaya dito yung uh, he asked for God te kunatay o confirmation. He, got, he asked to God te kunatay yung uh, 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 total te kunatay yung uh, revelation. Iti uh, panaka i uh, lawlawag. May papanit ito ito yung mapasamak. Uh, dito yung uh, te kunatay yung uh, from that year, 445 BC until that 33 AD. Nga, iti panakay cross ni Apo Jesus kunti uh, panagungar na kanti pan na kay pangato na nga manipud mo it that 33 AD until now that is tay kunata yung the church age until the time that the Lord will uh, take up his bride or the church babain iti pan na kay pangato na Kat, uh, that 69 weeks tay kunata it's already finished then we are waiting for the last week the one week more tay kunata to complete the 70 weeks of the Daniel Okay, so, dito itim aramid during the seven years tribulation. Kat, uh, no, kitain tayo, may papan ka dag ito yung paspasama, kat uh, isura dag ito yung dag ito yung uh, mang uh, uh, tudmut ka da tayo, iti uh, nalawlawa pa yung uh, panaka amo, naununig te kunata yung uh, panang uh, panang uh, panangadal, panang tingiting, may papan ka dag ito yung uh, uh, padto. Matap na itikasta ka uh, dito yung mapagkakamang from that 70 weeks of Daniel, from that first Thessalonians, e kunan tayo the rapture of the church, and from that uh, uh, what that was, what was, e kunan tayo yung uh, uh, written in the book of Revelation. Ngayon so nga dito iti matungpal, mapasamak to, mat iti masakbayan. So ngano kita nito yung amin? No, kita nyo kasla kung may iti maisang alamisaan nga. Ni Daniel nagtak there iti uh, ungto, iti uh, dahit yung alamisaan kuma. Nga nakita na may papan iti uh, masakbayan nung nagiti marami iti mapasamak. Ni Mat Juan, kakapsat, uh, nga isong nga nangisurat iti uh, the book of Daniel, nagtak there iti ungto. Iti dahit yung matlang alamisaan nga nagsangod nga manipod di jay banbanag kuna nang nga saan pa yung nga naaramid at dan nagtaktari kat nakita na dagiti e, banbanag isudang uh, may parangarang kan maaramid tukas na isurat kanin surat na mutlang iti libro iti apokalipsis na dagito isuda dagiti kunata yung uh, nakay uh, pakay bugasan mat iti adal tayo may papan iti the doctrine of the last things or eschatology so itultuloy tayo tuman na ng kapsat may papan iti uh, Adal tayo matlang, iti uh, dahil ito yung uh, tayo na tayo yung uh, pakasiknan iti the end times. Tano, kita nito tayo, uray pa iti uh, makunkunang uh, uh, nakita ni Daniel, may papantay ko na tayo the four nations vision, nga nubasa nyo in the book of Daniel, nga may papan iti ko na tayo yung uh, uh, timay sa kadag iti uh, tagtagainip, iti ko na tayo iti uh, Ari, nga dito'y kat uh, naburibur ti panunot kan puso na kaputa san na nga matandaanan iti uh, tagtagainap na nga dito'y kat inumung na nagiti so amin nga mamasirib iti uh, teko na tayo uh, Babylonia that time nga mawan na kay uh, uh, patarus iti tagtagainap laksid laang kan ni Daniel ngay so nga nadaan iti uh, pan nakabalin tap nung tikasta kat uh, not only nga imbaga natin kay papanan na, nga miso na pa kat uh, mismo nga iso natin ang imbaga nga dahil ito itagtagayin mo ari, apo ari kat uh, iso nga dito eh kat uh, makita tayo nung kasan nung uh, amin na gito eh, the vision teko na tayo may papan the four nation visions nga itagtagayin po kuna na may papan iti dahil ito yung uh, langa kuna na nga uh, nga tiulo na kat balitok or the head and that is the Babylon nga iti uh, barukong na kunana silver or that is the maja persia or the bear in the ram kante kunana uh, the belly in the thigh is brass kunana that is the greece uh, that is the country greece and uh, the legs kunana nga uh, daytu ket landok and divers uh, base and that those are of mixture of iron and clay rome te kunata yung adito ket uh, may papan iti uh, 
uh, pagilian nga Roma nga isumot lang nga uh, nang uh, ti uh, naramid nga isudag ito ti nang dominar kakabsat iti uh, uh, daga or pairamanan iti uh, te kuna tayo dagiti anak iti Israel. So malidayaw ti apo atap men ti kasta ket uh, adadapay ko mga makita tayo may papan iti uh, panaka uh, lawlawag nagiti panpanuno tayo may papan iti kuna tayo nga the doctrine of the last things. So malidayaw ti apo ket ditoy tayo manen nga agudo ket itulo tayo manen tun maminsan may papan iti uh, daytoy matlaang nga uh, Adal tayo, matap mo likasta kit uh, adapay nga ma amuan tayo, may papan kadagiti uh, kuna tayo nga uh, kinapudno, pakaseknan iti uh, the second coming of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Kit uh, maraydaya wit iapo, tun uh, maminsan tuloy tayo tumanin kit uh, let's pray for one another. We will continue also to do our parts as we study this uh, lesson concerning the and times event. So, God bless us all. And, tiya po iti, agtultuloy mo't nga, mang bendisyon ka na kayo amin, ka na mang salaknib ka na kayo amin, na imbag nga, aldaw tayo amin, gagayam kayo, kakabsal, manidayaw tiya po. Bye-bye.